Hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive at Caring Park. I've got a uh, Audi Q7 that I'm doing the actual EGR uh, valve. There was a uh, low flow from the EGR cooler detected by the ECU. So to, um, I've removed a lot of stuff to take it out. So this is the EGR cooler. This one here is the original one. 21st of the 10th, 2009 was the manufactured time, uh, date as well. Um, this is the cooler. But it's a lot of stuff I want to show you that I had to... Someone's been doing this, someone's done the work before and everything is just either broken, worn, or wrong, wrong hose clamp facing the wrong way. So if you have a hose clamp like that, and when they put it on, they put it on facing the wrong way. I have to struggle to get it out because I can't get a screwdriver there to get this out. So that's why on, on when you put it on, you got to use the clamp type. And the clamp type, hose clamp is like those ones there. See that one there? Not that one there, but that one there. It's clamped on, so you don't have to actually worry about uh, taking it off. So I can tell, so especially the, the, the rear one, the EGR cooler exhaust bolts. See that one there? It's all damaged. So it's really hard to do my job probably when things are damaged from before. Luckily I got it out now, so now I've got to get a new hoses, new clips, new O-rings like that for the left side as well. And just the way that I already designed this bracket to hold this down. The EGR cooler is actually mounted from the other side, so you can't take it out. I just wish they had this cooler mounted from top. So you don't have to muck around to get it out all the time okay that's why you have to strip the whole thing down because just only for two bolts so there's that one there and that one there holding it but it's actually mounted from underneath they should have changed it mounted from, from the top somewhere so you can actually have a little bracket here that comes to here they hold it on all right but today i'm going to just quickly show i'm going to strip it down this is part one i'm going to strip down those bolts separate the controller from the cooler and then I, I'm, I'm going to actually uh, clean the whole lot, see how blocked it is, and then I'll go from there. Alright, thanks for watching and please subscribe.